Hey everybody, it's David Malukas, driver number 18 with Dale Coin Racing and HMD Motorsports, and I'm going to tell you guys a little bit of our radio communications that we have. Of course, there's many different factors that go into it, uh, you know, specific things on trying to make things very efficient. Any sort of radio communication that you hear, at least from my end, is very short and sweet. I mean, unless if I get angry or something, then I'm screaming on the radio and they'll just try to tell me to calm down. But you me right around, me right Stop it. So like Road America, right? It's such a big track and the only communication we have is really on the front stretch. Where everything has to be short and to the point. And there's many different things. Of course, we have the basic versions of go, go to pit or box. From my side, we say box, which means go into pit lane, this lap. In box, box for tires and fuel, David. One turn of front wing. Uh, let's say for qualifying, they'll say finish and pit this lap, just finish the lap and you box. Um, we have different things of, let's say, engine maps and ECU slots. So when it comes to engine mapping, th those normally come from Honda, then that goes from the strategist to me. Uh, and this is normally for fuel saving, right? If you're going to be in map one or map two, that's normally how we have it set. This is like max push, go and try as hard as you can. But if you're going to say something like map six, map five, that's fuel saving, lift and coast. They'll tell me the specific places to lift and coast that we did in warm up. Map eight is always under yellow. That is like the, the slowest. I mean, you're only going to do that in a race if you're like maybe missed a, a pit in and you're going to have to do an extra lap. But that's only really on, on yellows. Hello, yellow, yellow. Map eight, map eight. Safe fuel, safe fuel, safe fuel. ECU slots, these are more for fail safes. Um, this, this is just directed by Honda. If they see something from their end, I'll have to do whatever slots on that end. But this, this very much, we don't really use too, too much on that end. Um, this is actually for ovals. Um, they'll tell me. This is more on my end, they'll, they'll kind of remind me with the tools on the bars and everything. When you're driving, of course, as a driver, you have all these different things. And yes, it maybe doesn't seem like a lot, but when you're driving, you have all these different things going on. You're racing, you're doing passes. It's always good that they remind me, hey, don't forget about your tools, don't forget about your weight jack or whatever it may be when it comes to ovals and all of that sort of thing. Okay, front wing change coming here. Watch Renato, watch Renato. All clear, all clear, all clear. Remember to reset your tools, David. Remember to reset your tools. Other than that, you know, if it's from, from gaps to other drivers, the actual car numbers, there's certain things that drivers like and prefer, especially when you come into pit lane. I always like reminders on trying to hit my marks. It's just simple things that when you're coming in, or let's say mid-Ohio, for example, every time I'm going to come into pit lane, Mike Marie is going to tell me, hey, just to remember, it's very short pit lane areas. I mean, it takes like 35 feet. So it's something to remind that you don't come in too hot, especially when the tires are cold. So there's just certain things that always depend on different drivers. But overall, those are kind of the few things that we have for radio communications.